Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the top 15 turn-ons that I have in guys. So if you didn't see my last video, I did the top 15 turn-offs that I have. So I'll go ahead and link that video down below if you missed that and want to watch that one too. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first turn on is I find it really attractive when a guy is close with his family. Family plays such a huge role in my life. It's cool when a guy is really close with his family. Number two is when they smell nice. I just really love a nice smelling dude. Because you know when I hug you, I'm like, you smell nice. Another turn on is when they're really funny. So my personality, I like to make jokes. I like to laugh all the time. I like to make others laugh. So if he can make me laugh, positive. I can hear Google walking around. It's making me nervous. Another turn on that I have is when a guy is super proud of his girl. Not necessarily like women crush Wednesdays every single week, although that is super cute. But I'm talking about in public like holding her hand or kissing her on the forehead I think that's so cute he's just proud that the girl is his you know like showing off to the world this is my girl another turn on is when they have a sense of style I would I was talking to my friend about this and I'm not particularly attracted to a certain type of style you know whether it be hipster or surfer as long as they dress nice and the outfit looks coordinated, I think it's cute. Sixth turn on is when the guy is confident. I think that can play on both sides, you know? When a girl's really confident, when a guy's really confident. I wouldn't be into someone who's super insecure or doesn't have a lot of faith in themselves because I feel like I exude a certain confidence and outgoing. I'm just out there, you know? If you know me, I'm just out there so when a guy can keep up with the confidence level that I have uh, almost a little bit cocky but not too cocky you just kind of want a guy that's confident I don't know I don't know another word but confident number seven turn on is when they're down for an adventure or they're spontaneous you know just texting me 30 minutes ahead of time like hey let's go on a hike I like when they plan things I mean I guess if they plan things, it's not spontaneous, but if they just text you with an idea and it's like, let's go, down for it. I also like when a guy puts thought into things. If a guy knew that I was vegan and he asked me to go with him to a vegan restaurant, I would find that super endearing because it's something that I'm passionate about and he's obviously interested in me, so he makes the effort to go to a vegan restaurant and he looked it up what might be a good vegan restaurant to go to. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Another turn on is when they're willing to open up. So in my last video I said that I don't like emotional guys, which is true, but I said that there's a time and place for things so when they can share their feelings when I ask about it or whatever, it's super attractive that they have a soft spot sometimes and they're willing to talk about their feelings when the moment presents itself. The tenth turn on for me is when a guy has faith. It doesn't necessarily, I'm personally am Catholic, I was born and raised and went to Catholic school my whole life. I mean it'd be nice to date someone who is Catholic but as long as the guy has some sort of faith in God and practices their faith, I find that super attractive because that is what I want to pass on down to my children and that's how I try to live my life with God centered and when a guy has that and shares that similar interest it's definitely attractive okay when the guy is athletic that is super important to me because I played sports my whole life volleyball softball from a young age so if I can throw a ball he better know how to throw a ball too because I'm pretty competitive you know it's okay if you beat me at things but I cannot be I cannot throw a ball better than you let's just say that Another turn on is when a guy has nice hair. I love when it's clean cut, comb over, cool, you know, as long as you have some sort of hairstyle going on that's nice and clean and not scraggly all the time. Number 13 is when a guy takes care of his girl, whether it be paying when they go out on dates or opening the door. I mean, I honestly, like physically taking care of the girl too, if she's sick, that's hella dope. Yeah, when they take care of their girl and it's like, nah, babe, I got it. I bought us tickets to Disneyland. <laughs> you did what? The 14th turn on for me is random acts of... Okay, another turn on for me is random acts of kindness. So it could be as easy as a good morning text or a I miss you text or surprising them with flowers. Any little small thing like that, you can get a girl 
easily, okay? I'm just telling you the ticket into making your girl's day a small act of kindness. Okay, and then the last turn on is how they treat strangers. I read somewhere online one time that the way your guy treats strangers is the way that he's going to treat you because if he's acting rude to a, to a person that he doesn't even know their story, total stranger, chances are he's gonna be rude with you, someone he does know and he's comfortable with. Which I think is pretty true, you know? It may not always be all the time, but if they're nice to a stranger and have manners, obviously you can see that they were raised where manners and talking to people, just in general, is something that you should be respectful about. Definitely a turn on if they are really nice to strangers. All right, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, this 15 churn ons that I have in guys video. If you like videos like these, give it a thumbs up and, or if you liked it, and comment down below a turn on that you might have for a guy. <laughs> okay, I will guys, <laughs> I'll see y'all in my next video, so bye. Adios, Avita Zane, bye.